What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkFakes.net and we are inside of 3D Studio Max 2013 and what I'm getting ready to show you can be done in I think any version of 3D Studio Max that actually has these options available. So anyway, I found this video and it was a silent movie and to be honest with you, I didn't really have a problem following it so I decided to make my own video with some extras in it so that it's not identical to the one who actually made it and it is made by uh, Andres 6478 I'll have this right here in the description below so that people can go on and actually see the original video but this is what we're going to be creating, which, like I said, has some extras in it that are unlike the original poster. So, this is what we're going to be doing. So, as you can see, we are animating our windows open, and then we are animating our door open. We also have a floor texture here, which is not the best in the world. I'm actually learning 3D, 3D Studio Max, and so uh, the more I learn, the more I'm going to upload. So, anyway... Let's go ahead and jump into it, and let's stop this, and let's go ahead and create a new project. Uh, this thing has been modified. Yeah, let me go ahead and save that. New all, and let's come over here, and let's go into our main view, and we want to do a few things right quick before we get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is come over here to our customize, go down to unit setup. And make sure that everything is set as metrics because that's the way that the tutorial was originally done. And like I said, if I knew how to, to do all this in inches, I'd go ahead and do it in inches. But anyway, we're going to do this in metrics. And so click OK and then customize and uh, customize user interface. And we got to wait for a second for it to load. There we go. So just click on the top one here and hit your O key, jump down to your O's, and then let's go down to ortho snapping mode, and then hit your zero on your number keypad to have numpad zero, and then hit assign. Close out of it. Okay, now, to be honest with you, I haven't figured out why he added that in yet. Like I said, he's got a silent movie. And so, but anyway, I went ahead and added in there anyway. So let's go ahead and click on our top view. And using your uh, mouse wheel in the center, you can zoom in and zoom out. We want to get to about right up in here. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and click on minimize or maximize, I should say. And now the next thing we want to do is come over here to our snaps toggle and click on it hold it down and drag it down to three come up here right click on it and make sure that grid points and endpoint is selected click x come over here and let's choose da, 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 da. Up, 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 up. i'm sorry i got lost e i'm at aec extended and choose wall and once you choose wall, make sure that our width is 0 0.3 meters and height is 3.0 meters. Okay, now with our snap toggle in place, click. Okay, you want to do this block, second block, third block, then come down two blocks, over one block, up one block, over one block, down one block, over a block, and then come to your end and then you should have weld point and choose yes now if you do not have this selected right click and it'll deselect it for you if you do not have these uh, snaps toggle selected then it will not do a straight line for you and it also will not give you the option to weld so make sure that your snap toggle is selected and after we're done here unselect it now come over to our area here and drop it down and we want to choose edible poly okay once we have chosen edible poly go down to vertex come over here to select and move and then let's go ahead and try that again let's resize our walls just a little bit here 
not too much. And then grab a hold of our top, drop it down. Let's bring in the sides just a little bit more to about up in there. Okay, and we also need to make this just a little bit smaller because that's actually a little bit too big for a door entrance. Okay, and that should do it. So now I come back over here and minimize viewpoint toggle. And let's go ahead and select our top view again. And we're going to come over and choose our windows. And let's choose sliding. Okay, come over here and click and zoom in. Right click. Okay, from right here, drag it up, let off the, the mouse button. Drag it up, click the mouse button again, drag it up to about up in there, and then double click it again, or click again to deselect it. Okay, now with our, okay, let's come over here and change its color. We want to give it a, a blue color. And now let's do the following settings 1.48, 2.88, 0.2. Drop down. All these should be the same and all the way down. So that's 0 0.05 for our horizontal width and uh, vertical width. And our thickness is 0 0.5. Well, actually. 0, 0.0 for our thickness and then our glazing is going to be at 1 and then our rail width is going to be 0 0.5 and that should take care of everything for it. So now we can jump over here and raise, whoops, grab the wrong one. Click on our window, raise our window up to about here. That looks good. All right, now we need to make sure that our window is actually going through the other side, and it is. So as long as you did it exactly the way I just did it, it should go right through the other side. If it did not go through the other side, then uh, the best thing to do is to actually stop the video and start over from the beginning of whenever I started it to redo it again because it is a pain to try to fix it and so anyway so with our window selected let's come over here and right click and choose clone and choose copy and this is going to be our right window drag it over here to our right uh, over here should be about good so now it looks like two windows Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to come over here and choose doors and choose pivot. Come back over here to our top view. Start about right up in here. Drag. That off. Pull back. Click again. Drag it up. It's about right up in there. Looks good. Okay. Now let's go in and set the following dimensions for our door it's going to be 2.62 2.878 0.2 and then we want it to be double doors and let's go ahead and close our doors for right now and let's come down here to our width which is going to be 0.1 all the way down this right here 0.0, .0. 0 0.5412112.0 2 and 25 for our thickness. Okay, now let's come back over here. Let's uh, do our selection tool and let's move our door down 
and over to about here. Let's come over here and let's give our door another color. Click on our orbit. And we've got inside and outside for our door. Okay, now right click and it gets rid of our orbit. And whenever we open up our door, we can open up. And as you can see, our door is opening up and functioning like a door should function. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me, let's come back over here to our top view. Click on maximize. And let's zoom out just a little bit here. <coughs> excuse me. Come back over to our snap toggle click on it, drop it down to 2, come over to our create, choose, oops, choose our snaps, and let's choose spline and line. Now, let's come over here and let's start clicking. Click there, there, there. Basically, you hit in all the corners. Oops. Yeah, mess that one up. Corner, corner, snap it right there. there. She goes, snap, 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 and go up, snap, and close spline. Now, close, untoggle your. Um, I wonder. See there. I don't understand why the um, the guide chose to set the key, but anyway, let's go ahead and go back. And now we've got our um, our spline. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's come up here to modify, drop down list, and go to editable poly. Okay, and now as you can see, our floor is in there. And let's go ahead and um, let's right click clone and we're going to name this one ceiling and then we're going to grab a hold of it and we're going to drag it up to about up in there change our color yeah not too much Oh, that's good enough. Okay, now let's click on our door, open it up, and as you can see, our floor down here, and let's go ahead and change its name to floor. Our floor is purple, and so, <clears throat> excuse me, what we want to do is that we actually want to give it more of a floor texture. So let's come up here to our material editor with our floor selected. And let's choose our first little circle here. Okay, and now what we want to do is that we want to assign a material. So we select our ball here, click on bitmap, double click, open it up. And I've got this texture right here, which I will have a link to it in the description. Click on it. And now come over and assign material to selection. And then come over here to show shaded material and viewport. And then as you can see, it shows our material right there. And whenever we open up our window, we can see the material sitting inside of our little home here. So, okay. Now the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and get into our main viewpoint viewport here. And let's try to set this up to about up in here okay now let's select each, each one of our windows and change them to zero and then go to our door and also change it to zero as well and now what we're going to do here is that we're going to animate our doors and our windows opening up and so what we do here is choose auto key, select it, and let's drag it out to about 20. 
We don't want both of the windows to open up at the same time, so let's choose 50. Drag it to about here. Choose 50. Drag it to 45. And the door, we're going to choose 75. And that should, well, let's go ahead and come all the way here to the edge and get this window and let's go ahead and bring it to 90 and then 70 we're going to bring this one up to 90 as well so now whenever we play it I want to do one more thing here before I close out this video that I almost forgot about that would actually make this thing just a little bit better and that is to actually make these windows see through. So what we want to do here is that we're going to select our window. When we select it we go up to our material editor. When our material editor, editor loads we've got different materials that we can choose from. And so what we want to do is choose the solid glass. And the solid glass, once we apply that, you will be able to see right through it. Now, there has got to be better ways of doing this, but this is just a quick fix that we can add in. Then we come over here to this one, and then we apply it to that one as well. And so now we've got uh, actual see-through windows that we can uh, see through and see the inside of our home. All right, this is Wayne Barron with darkeffects.net inside of 3D Studio Max 2013. And I hope that y'all learned something from this. And as well, just like I said in the beginning, I will post a link to the original video so that the author can also get credit as well for uh, posting this video. So anyway, Wayne Barron, darkeffects.net. Y'all have a rocking weekend. Bye-bye.